Before we get started on today's show and ask you guys, if you haven't yet, make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'm tweeting about know, 15, 20 times a day, almost all on Michigan football or making fun of Ohio State. So I've got Michigan football coverage and I've got jokes. I think it's probably the best two uh, things you can ask for if you are a football fan of this team. So go ahead. It's at James Yoder on Twitter. Hey, let me know. Hey, I watched the show, James, following you. Maybe I'll give you a follow back. I've been following a lot of people back over the past couple months. So that is my Twitter account. Make sure to go follow me. We are going to talk some Michigan football news, plus a scandal in the local media, the likes of which you have never seen. All coming up on the Michigan Football Report right now. Let's give some shout outs. I said in a couple of show, I think it was last Thursday, that if uh, you commented the first 15 people comment me down below, I'm going to give you a shout out. And here we go. Uh, I'm too blind to actually read some of those. So it's Andrew Sherman, Bradley Smith, Taiwan Howard, uh, our kid, and Blake, what does it say? Bah, bah. What, Bari? Oh, gosh. See, I'm blind. I thought we were just Blake, like Bond, B-O-H-N. There's an R and an I in there. Okay, so sorry for that, Blake. Uh, thank you so much for commenting me. Uh, Carl, as I'm pulling this... Cordell, I'm, guys, look, I'm looking at a, uh, a big screen about 10, 12 feet away. I'm completely blind at this point. Shane Johnson, my guy. Shane, I, I know you DM me. I'm going to hit you back uh, about Miami. Uh, Zach Cartwright, Dan, and then what does it say, Chugs? It's oh, Don, and then Scott Larack, seven, Scott Larack, 727 Fort Knox. That guy's got it going on. Uh, Ralph Bowers, Antonio Coleman, Micah ha Hashikoa. Uh, John Blaze, shout out to John. Uh, thanks so much for watching. And then John, Josh Fade Master. Thank you all so much. We've had like 80 or 90 or uh, probably even 100 when all said and done. People comment me out of the several hundred comments on the video. So these are the first, first 15, but anybody who commented on the video, watched anything, has been with us for this uh, ride. Uh, it's another great year. It's our third third, I think, yeah, 2019, 2020, and then 2021. But really, it's only really our second full season, 19 and then 21, right? 2020 was kind of this mishmash of six games. So appreciate everyone who's been around uh, the, all year. And hey, we got one game left of this calendar year, but hey, I think it's two games left on the season. Shout out to another, uh, I guess, fan of the show. Subway hit me on Twitter. They said, hey, James, you seem to be a, a Michigan football influencer. We're going to send you some Blake Corum gear. So you see that? Blake Corum signed football from Subway. All it said was this. I'm going to give him a shout out. It said, from your friends at Subway, Blake Corum signed football. Showed up at the office today. So I want to make sure I gave them a shout out. Pretty cool football. Hell, maybe we'll give this away, Chugs. Uh, Michigan wins the national title. Maybe we'll make it a prize for uh, someone on the show. If they comment me, comment for Football, we will give that away. So thanks so much to uh, Blake Horam and to Subway. He's getting some NIL money for that. So uh, glad to support the cause. All right, go up later in the show. Uh, here in a few minutes, I'm going to spend a little, you know, time could beat my thoughts together. On this David Ojabo. There's a story out there about name, image, and likeness, and how frankly the United States government is absolutely screwing him. And this is probably happening to a lot more players and how people than Ojabo. I'm going to talk about that later in the show. So you want to stick around for that. But I did want to go over some just news items of the last day or two that I haven't covered yet. Just give you my thoughts and opinions on them. Number one, uh, Sunday night Michigan held their 2021 team banquet, and Aiden Hutchinson, no surprise, is your team MVP. Congratulations to him. He was the uh, defensive team MVP as well, of course, as well as the all the team. Hassan Haskins was your uh, offensive MVP. So no surprise, the two leaders of the team, maybe outside of Cade McNamara, Ronnie Bell, but he didn't play this year. Shout out to Aiden Hutchinson, uh, another award for him. Uh, before we get to number two, I want to ask you guys, I'm out of shows. Um, succession is over, and I'm watching um, uh, what's the Yellowstone, but that's like, you know, there's only two episodes left. I have no shows going into next year. I do think there's that uh, show on Netflix. What's that one with the uh, the guy with the drug dealer down in, uh, you know, he's the accountant. Ozark, his new season of Ozark coming out uh, end of January, but I've got nothing. So let me know your binge-worthy shows you're watching right now that I can get into over this holiday season. Go down and comment below. I'll pin this comment below the video. Uh, reply to it. I'd love to get your suggestions, start watching you guys uh, the same shows as some of the viewers of this show. 
Next up, number two, the playoff, college football playoff games, Alabama, Cincinnati, and then Michigan, Georgia, will actually be offered in about 26 cities around the country in a Cinemark movie theater. Cinemark and ESPN uh, put together a deal, and they're going to show the games. It doesn't actually cost you a seat, a uh, concession ticket. It's kind of weird. All you got to do is per person is buy $10 worth of concessions in advance, and you reserve yourself a seat. It's, all, it's in one Detroit theater. I couldn't find the address. I'm going to put the link down in the copy and the description in the comments, so if you want to click and go get information yourself. Uh, we're going to watch on New Year's Eve, make it a movie theater night on a big uh, you know, camera. It might be fun for some people. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily think it'd be my sort of thing, but the Michigan, uh, there's one Cinemark in Detroit. I looked it up. There's one in Taylor. There's one in Southland. Uh, so I'm guessing it's got to be one of those. There's not actually one in the city of Detroit as far as I could find. But if you want to go to the game, a family member reached out to me yesterday and said, uh, hey, I was going to go to the game. Can't go anymore. Uh, they bought tickets through the athletic department as a season ticket holder. And they said, can't go to the game. Do you want to, I'm going to sell them on StubHub. Uh, or do you want to offer them up to people you know, on the show following you? Um, you know, they want to get a good price. They're not going to get screwed. But it's a much better price than you can buy out there. So see right there, section 323, row 25. I highlighted it on this map right here. So it's that yellow, um, yellow star in the top right corner. Uh, on StubHub and all the other ticketing uh, websites right now, those are going for about $485, $475. I think it's plus fees. I'm not actually sure. I didn't look with fees or without. But if you want these tickets, uh, they're selling for $400 each, um, which is about $75-ish dollars cheaper than you would pay on StubHub right now. So two tickets for $800. You're going to save yourself about $150, maybe up as high as $200. If you want those tickets, go put the email address up there one more time, Jeremy. Just email me, james at chatsports.com, and just let me know if you're interested in the tickets, and I will make the connection. Uh, they'll send them to you through the Ticketmaster app, and you can just Venmo, Cash App, meet up in person if you're uh, local to them, uh, and you can be down to Miami. But it's all digital, so you don't have to be local uh, to me or to the family member to get the these tickets. Email me, James at Chat Sports, and uh, see see if anybody wants them cheaper than stuff up. Next up, all right. I talked about a scandal. Here is the scandal. And by the way, Sam Webb's never uh, hooking people up with tickets seventy five dollars cheaper than uh, than stuff up. So he is scalping him. I'm sure about that because he is a money hungry scumbag. From what I have been reading over the last three or maybe three days or so, like that. Sam Webb has now been banned from YouTube. They said it's banned from life from my source inside the walls of the tube. Um, but I'm sure they're going to try and appeal it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So why would Sam Webb be uh, be banned? Well, let me walk you through the story if you'll bear with me for about the next minute or minute and a half, right? So Webb. Basically, everyone's trying to compete on YouTube this year. Uh, two years ago, there was like one other YouTube channel focused on Michigan football. Now there's about 10 or 12, right? You can go look at them if you want. Uh, Michigan Podcast was the leader in the, the bunch. We've now passed them an audience some subscribers. They do good. And everyone's trying to get their thing. But they don't understand YouTube like we do. They're not entertaining. They don't have a built-up audience. And so what they typically do is they only get audience when they cell phone record Jim Harbaugh's press conference or Zoom press conferences or they upload highlights, right? If it's actually them talking about the teams or the game or their recap or preview, they get like 45 views, right? We're getting 15,000, they're getting 40, right? And so Webb came up with a scheme. We're going to download, illegally download, the All-22, if you're not familiar with what that is, that is a camera that you see all the players at once. It's what the head coaches use to kind of like follow every guy to make sure who's doing what plays. We're going to go in there and download this video, uh, and then we're going to upload it on our YouTube channel to get audience and to get uh and you know to, to make revenue that's where that's where sam webb was trying to be a scheme and i'm sure the radio business not to go there were how did he get it well people were sending me screenshots i got onto their message board i got a little you know hey i borrowed someone's login too jeremy but i mean actually chat sports probably has logins for all that stuff we got on there we saw the screenshot webb completely threw Devin Gardner under the bus on his little 24-7 sports message board. He said, hey, we didn't know. We thought this was fair use. Fair use? There's no All-22 video. That is like the holy grail of the footage that no one's allowed to see other than the coaches, the players, and then TV networks get access to them for prep work, but they're not allowed under any circumstance to show them on television, right? So he Web said, I use Devin Gardner's login through Fox Sports. Imagine if you worked at a company and you said, hey, I gave my buddy who works at another company my login to access our proprietary confidential information. So either Webb was throwing him under the bus trying to push all blame on Gardner, or he's just stupid. He doesn't realize how bad of a thing it is to log into someone's private work, you know, dashboard. Board login 
download footage that's found nowhere on the internet, and then upload it to YouTube and run ads against it with you, you need a little, uh, uh, what is Telestrator, and they'd pause it and circle people, and he tried to bring Gardner in on it, and he tried to bring Al Borges, the you know, former Michigan offensive coordinator under uh, Hoke that wasn't very good. And so they were doing it all season, and they, you know, these videos, 8,000 views, 10,000 views from time to time, especially like the Ohio State game, Big Ten title game. And of course, what happens? They get flagged. There's a company called XOS Digital, the Big Ten Network, Fox themselves. They got bombarded with copyright infringements. And someone told me that uh, they, you know, some inside info on this said they were uh, cited with, I think was the term, I had the term in my mind. It was um, blatant and ongoing copyright infringement, right? YouTube has deleted the channel completely, and an investigation is ongoing, right? Look, probably nothing will come of it because Webb will say he's sorry, sorry, we won't do it again. He'll probably, you know, ask somebody from Michigan to, hey, vouch for me. I'm the local radio guy. I didn't mean to do this. But he probably made tens of thousands of dollars in YouTube ad revenue uploading these videos over the past four or five months. He stole it from Fox Sports. He stole it from the University of Michigan. He stole it from the Big Ten and the Big Ten Network. Uploaded it knowingly that it was not his and there was no fair use on it. There's no, there's no fair use on YouTube at all, right? You cannot upload. Well, we don't put highlights or anything like that because they will just someone will put whether it's a day from now or a year from now someone will say hey that's our video it'll show up in the abc espn's dashboard from youtube and say hey did you give chat sports authorization no we didn't i get a copyright infringement you get two of those three of those your channel is just gone and sam webb is frankly i think a criminal now he probably will you know plead out apologize apologize youtube won't necessarily pursue it the authorities won't continue the investigation that they're going into but if Webb doesn't have to give back that 10, 15, 20, whatever the thousands of dollars he made, uh, that's an absolute sham. I'm gonna do everything I can, right? We're, uh, you know, we've got, how, how many channels? We got three channels, over 100,000 subscribers here at Chat Sports, got about a million plus of across 20, 20-ish channels. I got connections to YouTube. I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure that YouTube will never pay Webb a dollar again until he pays them back the thousands and tens of thousands of dollars uh, he got from scamming them uh, of money. He's a cheater, he's a scam artist. I think he's a detriment to Michigan football for as the many lies he has told about the program over the years. And hell, he lies in the good and bad, right? He won't tell you the truth as fans. He also lies uh, about recruits, et cetera, et cetera, claiming things. So. You heard me say it before, people are like, James, stick to this, stick to that, but this is just egregious because it's the business I'm in and he was cheating to try and get audience from, from other people, right? If you're watching 15 minutes of web, you're a lot less likely to watch uh, people who are spending their hard uh, time and effort. Jeremy's behind the, the, the screen uh, producing for this me. All these graphics take a lot of time to put together and uh, and Webb was just trying to take the easy way out. He's a scam artist. If you're with me, please type scam Webb. Even if you're not with me, if you don't even know who he is, just type it because uh, I just don't think this is something that we should just let go. Um, the guy knowingly cheated and stole and frankly, I think at worst he should have to pay back the money at best for, you know, I guess just society. He should do, you know, three months in jail. You can do, uh, I guess, three months in the Caribbean if you get going with BetUS, make straight cash homie uh, using our URL and promo code chatsports.com slash go blue. Bet on Michigan in the college football playoff. Put money on the Lions. They're in a hot streak lately. Uh, other than that uh, that one game against the Eagles, they've like been within one score of uh, the last six games other than that one. Use promo code GOBLUE, you get a 125% deposit bonus, and beep, 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 put your mother hands up. Get the jersey for free. We're bringing that back, the jersey deal, from now until December 31st, until kickoff. If you get going with BetUS as a new customer, you've got to go to chatsports.com slash GOBLUE. It tracks you. The internet's all about tracking. It's a series of tubes. It'll track you to the promotion. They can see your account when you make the deposit and say, okay, cool. These people are eligible for the jerseys. You email us, jersey at chatsports.com. All we got to do is get your account number, reference it against the list, get your size, and we will ship one off to you. Again, our sportsbook partner, chatsports.com slash GOBLUE. Get going with BetUS. Use the link. Screenshot it right now. Come back. Don't just type BetUS in your browser. They won't be able to track you. It'll create customer service headaches for me, for you, et cetera. All right, enough of Sam Webb, a guy, criminal. Uh, quick on these ones. Ryan Hayes, Michigan's uh, second year starting, you know, two-year starting offensive lineman, and Jake Moody expected to return for their senior years now. Uh, Moody will put some feelers out there to see if there's any uh, ability for him to get drafted, but kickers typically don't get drafted unless it's Sebastian Janikowski to the Raiders 20 years ago. So expect Moody to come back, make another play, and then ideally get his pick of teams uh, a year from now 
um, you know, in the summer of 23, I guess that would be, of where he could play in the NFL um, as a maybe two-time uh, award winner, kicker of the year. I can't remember the name of the kicker award. What's it called? Eh, whatever. Um, yeah, Chuck doesn't know either, producer Jeremy. All right, last one for this part. We're going to talk David Ojabo here in a second. Saw a lot of this on Twitter Sunday and into Monday, and it really irritated me. Um, not, not to Jim Harbaugh, to more of the fans, the people getting riled up. So Jim Harbaugh went uh, with his two sons, Jay, Michigan Special Teams Coordinator, his dad, Jack, and his son, Jack. Yes, he's got a dad and a son. That's how families work. They name after each other. Um, to support Frank Gore, who was in the, one of the undercards against Dar Darren Williams, the former NBA player. Gore played for Harbaugh uh, with the 49ers. Take a look at this photo. It's one of the photos we saw, a little screen grab out there. Um, you know, some, someone made a joke when we were putting the show together. It's like, what's Harbaugh looking at? That woman's shit? I'm like, no, the phone. You see the phone. He's looking at something and then taking a selfie with the guys behind his dad there. Jack, that's Jack in the, the hat. Jim's behind him in that really sweet college football quarter zip that everybody's been talking about. And that's fine. He's going to support his guy. The game you know, was still two weeks away, etc. But people are like on the internet just talking constantly. It's irritating me about Harbaugh's risking the season. Harbaugh's putting his life at risk. Harbaugh's putting the season at risk. No, he's not, okay? He's just not. Stop it. The, the Omicron variant, okay, it's, it spreads much uh, faster than, than the last variant, the, you know, was the Delta and the original, all that stuff. But Harbaugh shouldn't be getting tested. I don't believe he is tested. Why did college football miss no games this year? No relevant or impact players missed a single snap this year due to COVID-19. It's because they forced their players to get vaccinated. I'm not for that, okay? If, if it's requirement of the team, that's, I guess, their right. I don't necessarily support forcing people to make medical decisions just to play football for 19-year-old athletes. But they did do it, okay? They did do it. They're not testing them because they're not at risk. Probably weren't at risk before the vaccine, but certainly aren't with risk, with risk after it. And Jim Harbaugh is not getting uh, tested on a daily basis. So they're not going to get a COVID outbreak at Michigan, and it's just not going to happen. So people trying to take shots at Harbaugh for going and enjoying a Saturday night after the best season this program's had in over 20 years, good for him. I hope he enjoyed it. I hope he's back at the office, giving uh, Georgia every, you know, everything he has to uh, to win this game coming up next Friday. But if you guys have an issue, are you with me or are you with the haters on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook? If you have an issue, bad Harbaugh, go ahead and type yes below if you're with me. Not an issue, not a big deal. Go ahead and type no below. I didn't, I didn't hear anybody say anything about when Jim Harbaugh was doing in-person visits with no mask on to, to recruits or getting mobbed by 80,000 people who were on the field after the Ohio State game. I think that might be a little bit more of a coronavirus event. That, but hey, you know, that's not leisure. So shut up if, if, you're, if you're taking shots at Harbaugh for this. Like, you, Michigan fans just sometimes can't, uh, can't, be, uh, just can't be happy. Right? Be happy. Uh, complain if Michigan were to make a bad play against Georgia. All right, we've gone a little long in this video, but that's fine. We'll talk a little about David Ojabo getting screwed by not the NCAA, not Michigan, not the Big Ten, but frankly, the U.S. government. All right, the U.S. government. Uh, I am going to get up on my, uh, my, my stump. I'm going to kind of, kind of sit up and talk to the people. Let's take a look at David Ojabo put on Twitter. We're going to read that off. He says, basically, I'll paraphrase it. Unfortunately, because I'm here on a student visa and I'm not permitted to work in the United States, he's a you know foreigner, Scotland. Uh, originally from Africa, uh, I can't take money from NIL. And I looked into this, and this is absolutely preposterous. It's absurd. Let's take a look at the photo. These are the photos he's selling. Uh, the Wangler family, uh, Jared Wangler, has created a you know pretty nice company. They're doing all kinds of things with you know non-fungible tokens and shirts and jerseys and hats and everything like that. They got the MDEN deal where you can get players' names on the back of jerseys. So that's what they're selling. But he can't make the profits like his teammates can. He can't take the money in. This, to me, folks, is an absolute disgrace on what this country has uh, going on with regards to immigration, right? If he is in the country as a football player and he can take part in everything a football player does, the good and the bad of it, we should not stop him from making money in ways that, uh, that all of his teammates that are just U.S. citizens are able to, except in the country, and he's not getting another job. He's not taking the, the rule. The spirit of the rule of the law is that they don't want a student coming in and taking a job away from an American citizen, okay? so But don't give me this school versus work talk. David Ajabo's football play is not taking and getting an NIL deal and selling that shirt. You're buying it because of him. You're buying it because of Michigan. He's not taking away the workability or the ability to make money from any single American. And if 
there's plenty of football players, uh, plenty of basketball players, a lot more than football players that come into this country, and that's going to cause an issue for college athletics. So I would advise the uh, people, the decision makers at big universities, conferences, NCAA, talk to your senator, talk to your governor, talk to the federal government. It's probably a very simple one-line change. Biden writes a little uh, uh, presidential order, and this is done for. Um, I've seen a lot, and I'm not going to go political on this, but I've seen plenty where uh, you know people want more, uh, you know, what's, what's it called, the, the checks. We've got stimulus checks, and people want, oh, this, uh, this family got separated the border. Don't want anything bad to happen, but we should give them thousands of dollars. This is a, a kid who you know, came in, left his family, came overseas, went to high school in America, and then college, and he's not taking anything away from anybody. You should let him earn. It's not going to be millions of dollars. It might even be just thousands or tens of thousands, right? They're just selling shirts and jerseys. He's probably making four or five bucks per one. So I think the law needs to be changed. I think it's an absolute disgrace, and that is me on my uh, my stump giving you uh, what I think on just a terrible you know, way that the United States of America approaches immigration and uh, you know work and school visas, and it's got to change very soon. Uh, let me wrap up the show uh, by asking you a question and then giving you a little scoop on what we've got going on. So uh, predict the score, Michigan uh, Michigan versus Georgia. Next Friday night, the Orange Bowl College Bowl Playoff Semifinal. Let me know down in the comments what you think the score is. Give me a number and let me know who you think is going to win. I hope it's Michigan. And you see below me, folks, live show Thursday, 2 p.m. Eastern. We're going to go by for an hour, hour and a half. Uh, we'll talk about the game. We'll look forward to 2022 a little bit, and then we'll take your questions probably for a good 45 minutes or so. So make sure to join us, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you guys. I'll have a video Wednesday. We'll be live on Thursday. Go Blue.